Oh no, a tree. Oh God. Okay guys, I'm with Shaw getting lunch and I just wanted to show you once again, Shaw has to freaking park like a cock. What? This is his normal junk. Look at this. I'm inside the line. The line. Debatable. It's the, it's the outside line. Deba We've already gone through this. No. Look how much room you have on this side. But yeah, that's for compact cars. Compact. That's where they fit, right there. In the you get your new truck, this is how you're gonna park? No, I'm gonna back it in. It's <laughs> a difference. So, in case you've never seen it before, whenever we go somewhere with Shaw, he always parks like this, and it annoys the it's hell out of me. It's a truck, he says. It can okay. Park wherever it wants. It can park wherever it wants. I get it. Look at this guy. He's anyway, we're going to get some food, and uh, that is just unacceptable parking. That's how you park a Chevy. Unacceptable parking. Get used to it. Okay, so on today's video, I'm going to talk about my little short course truck. And this thing is kind of special, and I'll, I'll explain why. So, short course trucks, everyone knows, Traxxas Slash, uh, there's, a, there's a ton of short course trucks out there. Everyone makes them. HPI makes them, Traxxas makes them, uh, Team Associated makes them, Losi, everyone, everyone's got a truck. Um, and... When, when I got this truck, this truck I bought back in, oh man, I want to say like 2008, maybe 2009, I can't remember exactly, but it was a long time ago. So when I got this truck, short course trucks were really starting to ramp up. It was becoming like the, the, the main craze. It was a new thing really in the RC world, and it was really cool because you had this Basically an 8 scale buggy. Um, I don't know how to better explain it with truck suspension So it was a little bit taller a little bit. It looked more scale Obviously, it looks like a like an actual truck. Well buggies Well, they look like buggies so This is a more of like a scale look, you know short course and the, it's clay track uh, typically so um, This Particular truck though is kind of special because it's really really cheap. It was a cheap truck I'm trying to remember how much it was. I think it was like under a hundred bucks um, Some Chinese special, but what I did was I decided to just put some good electronics in it and see what it could do So the actual truck itself is called the Acme Trooper and you could do you could look look for some reviews on it online. There's a ton of them online this truck was actually kind of popular in that real entry level bracket where people were wanting to buy something and test it out. So I went ahead and bought this thing with a friend of mine. His YouTube channel is right here. But anyway, we bought these trucks at the same time and we started to kind of go take them and race. And they come with junky electronics. You know, it comes with a crap servo, motor speed control. Uh, and, and it's just a, a real junky little truck to begin with, but I decided to put the Savox ser servo in it Nice digital servo um, Then we upgraded the motor and ESC to Castle Creations setup. This is the Castle Creations SCT motor. I originally had the SCT uh, speed control too, but tragically I burned it up and I burned it up trying to run like four cells on this thing. So it wasn't wasn't a very good thing. And I blew up the original motor too. So either way, this setup now running on two cells is pretty formidable. All right. So camera girl put the dogs up. And now she's going to take over for me. Carla. Welcome. So now I'm going to do a little speed rip right here. You want to stand on that side? Yeah. I'm 
It's pretty quick. <laughs> Acceleration, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's way faster than that Civic. Ready? Yeah. Not too shabby. Not bad for two cells. <laughs> oh boy. You gotta do some cleanup. Anyway, this thing, I've had this thing for so long and I really wanted to get it back out. I did a lot of short course racing with it back in the day. I'll put up a video right here so you can see some short course action. Oh yeah, no. now Carla's no. taking it for a little rip. Oh God, she hit me. Four seconds in and she already hit me. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh no. Oh no, a tree. I'm bringing it back. Okay. <laughs> oh God, stop. Oh God. Good job, Carla. <laughs> Put that off. It's a, it's a pretty strong truck and as far as upgrades go, that's pretty much all I did. I bought a ton of spares with this thing because I thought for sure I was just going to destroy it in a week. I haven't been able to break it. And as you can see, um, Carla hasn't either, luckily. So she just ran that thing into a freaking curb at 20 miles an hour. And, uh, and I've done a lot worse with it, trust me. I raced the living hell out of it, jumped it 10 feet in the air. You name it, this thing has seen hell. This all used to be one color. It was all green before. It is now obviously completely stripped of its coating. Its anodization is gone because I just ran the living shit out of it, and hit everything. So really cool truck. Also put a set of uh, J Concepts tires on it. I usually run all four barcodes, short course truck tire, but I didn't have any left that I didn't want to put on it. So I'm running these uh, goosebumps on the front right now. So a really cool short course setup, two cells. If you got a Mamba speed controller or something similar, something Castle Creations, run this setup. I'm telling you, this thing is a hoot. It really, really is fun. J Concepts body, obviously. This is a Manta, I believe they call it, body. It fits perfect when you put these on there. The original tires are, are just like a, like a scale crawler looking tire, which in itself is really not bad, but for racing, no way. This is this is trash. And these are actually a little bit taller, as you can see. So the gearing would actually be faster with these tires. So these, but these tires did not hook up at all. It's a weird, uh, weird size. It's like a 1.9, and um, the stability was horrible. I mean, the stock, I would flip it over every time I tried to turn. So that's a no-go. Battery. This is an old battery. I just ordered a new one. Um, I've got a whole bunch of old hard case batteries. This is a 6,000 milliamp Turnigy that's actually still really good. And this is only 25C battery, 25 to 35C. So, it, I mean, it's a 10-year-old battery, 10-year-old car. Everything is holding together. And what's interesting about it, too, it has this metal spur gear. So you can hear it. It's real clanky, but it's actually supposed to be. Uh, metal spur gear. 
all metal gears in the in the diffs as well shaft driven which is pretty standard issue for a short course four-wheel drive um, and and the suspension is kind of interesting too because the rear suspension is pretty much identical to the front suspension as far as like all the a-arms and stuff it's just configured in opposite direction and it has a provision for the servo in the front but technically I could use the same parts as the rear has up front so kind of a interesting car I like the concept and for the, the fact that it's still around and I still get to bash it every once in a while that is epic super high value for the dollar if you have a chance to get one of these or you have one of these let me know and get it for yourself for sure because right, I, don't, I don't know too many people that still have these I think John still has his I just talked to him and uh, I'd love to take him out to a track again and go rage it but most fun I've ever had with a with a short course truck I'll tell you that it really really rips um, there was a the Losi truck I can't remember what it was called but uh, the Losi truck was like its competition I guess is the best way to put it and this thing actually kept up I let my buddy Felix who's a professional racer I let him he he had the Losi truck and I let him drive it and he was turning the same lap times with this thing as he was with the Losi truck so don't underestimate the power of these little Chinese trucks. Really cool. This was a, a fun little video. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to do more for sure. Um, I have so many. Look, here's my, there's my T-Max. How long has it been since you've seen one of those? So I'm going to get that thing running. That's Nitro. I have a couple of Nitro cars, so I'll be getting that. A couple drift cars over there. We got stuff to show you, and the XL1 is still up there. I need to get new tires for it. One tire is really bad. Uh, I tried to do a little bit of a speed run and it was so unstable I couldn't couldn't do it so we'll be getting to that and then I ordered another pinion for this as well we'll check out check out how that goes a little bit a little bit less gearing I think it'll help uh, I think it's over geared right now so anyway that's it that's the Acme Trooper um, with a bunch of good stuff castle this this is like a it's like a wolf in sheep's clothing now because you look at this thing and you're like that's trash but then you see the gear, the running gear, and everything that's in it, and it really does impress. So, anyway, hope you like it. I'll see you guys in the next one.